Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and this is uh, my second video of the video series about the on one software perfect photo suite 6 and in this video tutorial I show you one of the working tools here on the left hand side it's a retouch brush and I use it on the startup of my retouching. You can use it for skin retouching or even for landscape images like you have here with the sky and sometimes you have a little bit of uh, sensor dust in the sky in the blue areas or distracting points, the small little white points here, the spots and the sand of the shore. Um, I like to uh, don't have it and it's a very helpful tool especially to start your work with. And here in the perfect layers you have the layers like you have in Photoshop and I recommend to do a copy of the layers so that all your working has happened on the second layer and you can go back in the worst case or you can use your masking tool to mask out other areas that are not working so good. And it's like the spot healing brush in Photoshop. It's only a tip with your tablet or click with your mouse or stroke and um, your spot is gone. And here on the upper right hand side you have the tool panel where you can change the brush size, the feather, opacity and even the control of a Wacom tablet if you have. Um, and with the pressure sensitivity you can choose the brush size. I don't like this so much. For me it works better to change the slider so that you have the size you like to have to. And on some areas it's better to have a bigger brush to sample a little bit more around of your spot in the middle. Sometimes if you choose a very small brush that it's maybe okay for this area, you can get more problems instead of it's better. So in those areas works better if you sample with a bigger brush so that the brush can sample the more areas around the middle point and it's more precisely for the effect of the brush. Like you see here it's only one click and it's gone even those uh, lens flare here. Here you have a little bit left so I choose a bigger brush and the problem is gone. It's uh, very good for skin retouching or even for this landscape. And um, you can take away all the spots that are distracting you from your image. It's a very fast and easy way. Sometimes it's a little bit of a problem in contrast areas. And I recommend to zoom in in those areas with 100% and choose a size that matches the spot a little bit bigger as the spot. And maybe 200 or 300% is much better to have a better effect. If I sample now here on the, on the contrasts from the dark, darker parts to the lighter parts, something it can be a little bit of a blurriness that is left there on that area and um, if this should happen maybe you can go back to your layer and ma take your masking tool to mask out this effect or you can go back with Control z that's no problem you're working on a separate layer and works like 
you can see in other videos from the Photoshop tutorials. <clears throat> and as I mentioned before, it's similar to the spot healing brush of the Photoshop. Works good in some areas. You have a little bit of a problem that you can choose a bigger brush and uh, it works better for you. Yeah, and uh, we can take a look on the before and after. Here we have the lens, flare, lens flares and some distracting spots in the sand. And here they are gone. You can merge the down, save your image to your hard drive or you can copy this layer and choose some of the other effects of the whole photo suite. But for this video tutorial I only want to show you the retouch brush for the sensor dust or some other spots to take away. And this was it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.